front as we are in this area here. I want to plant this rose bush here. We usually have two rose bushes planted in the front, but I don't know what's going on. It's a big space, so we're going to plant in this bush here. How beautiful she is. She was $12.98, and that is from Home Depot today. So, again, beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't she? So, that's what she's going to be looking like. Right, guys? Um, so we're going to be planting her out in this area here. I'm going to show you the area in a moment. So this is where we're going to be planting her at. We're going to be cleaning her up. And we're going to be putting another bush right here so it can cover this area here. To cover the window. We had this bush for about 10 years now. So it's time for another one. This is what she looks like. I gotta prune her out so she can start budding up. As you can see, she does have some leaves there, but I have to clean her out. So, in this spot here, I'm gonna be putting some fig trees that I have potted in this spot. And then along this area, I have some uh, LA lilies, big blooms I'm gonna be putting right here. Something's supposed to come back here, I forget what it was. And this is my, some type of pepper, I forget what pepper is. <laughs> this was going to be coming back front. Now you guys can see how beautiful that rose bush is going to be. It's just going to be beautiful and gorgeous. Over in this area here, we're going to take this bush out. And I'm just going to be having vegetables like trellises in this area here. These are the LA lilies. And they grow big bulbs and they also grow babies. I have a lot of babies. Um, and in this area here, I have some white echinacea. I'm going to be growing up in that pot right there. So hopefully I can separate those because I'm going to have all the flowers and everything over in this area here. All right? So this is where this beautiful rose bush is going to be. Okay, guys? And I do have one Maya lemon tree. So I have three of them now and I have one in the front now. So... Yeah, and it keeps a lot of shade, so I definitely have to keep plastic over. All right, so um, guys, we're gonna be doing the haul. So if you want to see that haul, stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, and then I did pick up um, a bug ear bug, some bugs, and these are the elephant ears. And I thought these are the most gorgeous, gorgeous leaves I've ever seen. I love the way how they bloom out. The bigger pot or the bigger space you had, the bigger they would grow, the bigger, the larger they would grow. Um, so I got two of them in here, and I got these from Home Depot. And these are the, I don't even know how to pronounce all of that, but I definitely wanted to try these out. Flower buds, deer resistant, huge tropical leaves. You get two. So I'm going to plant these, and then I'm going to put these in my greenhouse for now until I have enough sun right now. We don't have that much heat like down south does. <laughs> so I'm up in the northern state, so yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I am going to grow. And these things get really, 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 really large, guys. I mean, large. They get large. So that's what I definitely want to grow these. And then I do want to up pop them in the winter time so I can still have these and grow these so I'm excited to have these elephant ears and these were $4.98 at Home Depot look at that they are gorgeous I cannot wait to grow these all right and then I got something from VA Growing Gardener all right, so I'm just covering up the address. And these are Moringa seeds. So I'm going to turn that over so you don't see the address. So these are Moringa seeds that I won a contest. And I thank you very much for the Moringa seeds. And I will start growing these also. Um, so thank you very much, VA Growing, Growing Gardener. Thank you guys very much. They have their own channel. Why don't you go follow them? VA Growing Gardener. Go check them out. Thank you very much, guys. All right, guys, we are in the back of the house now. We're going to show you what's going on now. So I'm going to show you the whole area today. Um, I'm excited 
excited for this haul guys i have a lot of things to show you guys so i could not wait to start really planting i still i still am waiting to get the tomatoes because i think i'm just going to start over with my tomato plants and then this year over winter them so that it could be better in the greenhouse um instead of trying to plant from seed but i am still trying to plant from seed that's the wind just blowing everything everywhere um so yeah guys um let's get on to this haul guys because i have a lot to show you guys Right, guys so i'm gonna just start off with this clearance item here and this is the fern um this is very hard another very hard plant for me to uh try to grow any type of cacti it's hard for me to grow but i'm gonna challenge myself this year to grow another plant in my home i do have two golden pop those and those are in the bathroom of course they're gonna last because of they love the uh, humidity and moisture um, so yeah, and the steam from the bathroom, but I'm going to definitely try to take care of this fern. I don't know how to take care of them. So I'm going to learn and I'm going to challenge myself to take care of a house plant. Now, if you guys are not house plants lovers or plant moms or dads, try one plant and give yourself encouragement at the same time. All right, guys. So this is my fern. I paid $4 for her on clearance from Home Depot. Home Depot. So I really like her. She's pretty. And I had to put her on the coffee uh, creamer thing because the biggest thing that will hold it because she has a, a you see that? So she waters herself. So I imagine if I keep it watered in the, inside that, that it'll stay. It'll, it'll grow more. So I don't know. We'll see. Of course, eventually I'm going to put her in a bigger pot. So we'll see how that goes. Now, I did tell you guys I wanted to get another orange tree. You know, give me another orange tree. I'm excited. This is the uh, navel orange. It's uh, $30 for it. I got this from a local nursery. All right. So, yeah. That's what it looks like there. So, the next time I'll be feeding her, it looks like they fed her on the 25th of February. Next time I'll be feeding her is August the 25th. All right. So, that and she does have a baby on her already and i will show you her right there she has one fruit on her already so yeah all right and i do already know i will be repotting her also okay guys so that's what she looks like there all right and i had to get another one i had to get another blueberry bush but this time I had to get another pink lemonade blueberry bush, all right? Um, I do have a pink lemonade blueberry bush and a regular blueberry bush in one pot that came together like that. But this time I got two separate. This one is separate from the regular uh, blueberry bush that I have. So I'm excited to try this. And these came from Home Depot. Excited. And they're supposed to be really, really sweet. Right, so that's what I like. All right, now here's another rose bush that we're going to be planting. And look at these babies here. Look how gorgeous these are, guys. Look at that. Look how beautiful these are. And these are the hybrid tea rose. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, so we're going to be planting those. And it looks like we got, I've never seen this one here before, so that's a young lady. So I keep this on here, it's just like for protection. So I'm just going to keep it on here, I guess, just let it pull off the shelf or whatever it's going to so, That's what she looks like. Right. We'll see what's in that bag in a moment. Because it's came from the Dollar Tree, we're just still working on our fruits and veggies. All right, so in this bag here, we got this from, I think this is all from Lowe's. No, from Home Depot. This is from Home Depot from another Home Depot. So I did buy me another pomegranate. This is the wonderful. So I will be planting her. And they just come in these boxes and these bags like this. All right, so these are the best ones I've seen. The next one is, it's a grape, and all these are seedless, and they're all ready for what, summer harvesting. All right, so these are the lighter grapes, like green grapes. And they're good for winter, as you can see, winter hardy. So I'm excited for that. Just pull that out. 
the next one or these are the ones i always wanted and these are the concord grapes so i was so happy to get these these are seedless but i was happy to get them anyway because you can juice these and make jellies out of these and i love concord jelly and juice so this will be perfect so that's what she looks like okay guys one more then we have this uh, suffix seedless grape. It's a lighter grape. So yeah, I'm grape happy. Now this, and I do also have grapes in the yard growing also. Charles is up already. So yeah, the more grapes, the merrier, I guess, right? <laughs> Let's quickly go through all the seeds that I picked up. I did pick up another pack of the sweet corn peaches and cream hybrid uh by color okay and that's from fairy and more rose all these are from morris i mean this is the sweet pepper i picked up another one of those yellow banana ones okay thought i'd try some different tomatoes uh this is the black creme look how beautiful that tomato is guys also picked up the Chef's Choice Blend. These are gorgeous also. I'm sorry, it's just to make sure my shirt's over my bum. <laughs> I'm bending down. Then I picked up some purple tomatillos. Beautiful. Let me toss this and stuff with that. Then I picked up another pack of uh, corn, and this is the uh, candy corn. Candy cane. I mean, candy corn <laughs> hybrid. All right. I picked up two of uh, their turnips, and these are the purple top white globes. Um, I picked them up more so for the um, the turnip leaves, because I love turnip greens. So, yeah, that's what I picked them up more so. I've never tried a turnip itself, the vegetable. So, maybe we'll try that. But definitely picked them up for the greens itself. All right. So, I picked up two of those. Um, I picked up lettuce, and this is the bib lettuce. I picked up some kale, and that's a tall, beautiful kale that grows. I picked up some mustard greens. I think I picked up, yeah, two packs of the mustard greens. Who doesn't love mustard greens? And these are the Indian Florida broadleaf mustard greens. And then I picked up some fox gloves, and you guys already know what this is for. <laughs> I do want want any dogs and cats around, so yeah. And I'm also gonna put some uh, some of these in my daughter's yard also, cause I do her yard every year. So that's what those are right there, guys. Oh, we have lots more. Don't worry. <laughs> this video is as far from over. All right. Okay. Then I picked up some onions. And these onions, got a couple onions in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven onions in there. And these are the candy onions. All right, guys, so I will be potting those. Picked up some red, uh, sweet red onions. All these are from Bonnie. And it's about one, two, three, four, five onions in there. So that's what these onions look like. So I will be planting those. And then I have some strawberries here. These are the Ozark strawberries, Everbearing. I mean, the Ever, uh, yeah, these are the Everbearing uh, uh, strawberries. Ozark beauties. Let's see. There you go. There you guys go. It's like a shadow at the same time, but there you go. And so I just picked up four of these plants here. There. And then you have one here. And this one's already like with strawberries. As you can see. We don't know if they'll stay, but that's what's going on. So that's that. 
I didn't even notice this one had strawberries on it until I got it home. So that's that, guys. And then I did pick up some more dirt and soy. I just got to pick up one more bag of the yellow stuff that I love using. So I got some garden soil. This is the Miracle Grill vegetable herbs. This is moisture control, so I might start using this. This is made with compost. Uh, there you go, maple compost. That feels nice and airy in there too, guys. Really nice and airy. Doesn't feel like it's uh, flat, you know what I mean? Like packed together because it was wet. This feels nice and airy. See how fluffy it looks in the bag? And it has moisture control and it protects against over and under watering. So that's good, it's good for three months. So that's that's perfect. That's perfect. I think this bag was like eight dollars, maybe nine. Then I got some topsoil, of course. No more than two fifty for the bags. It's got this topsoil, so I'll be mixing these and the yellow bag that I usually use. And also, I will be putting some, of course, black cow in there also. I looked at Home Depot, went to Lowe's. Um, Lowe's didn't have any, uh, no, Lowe's did have, they had three, no, two, two cherry trees left. And they were like eight ninety nine. I mean, $89.99 and $99.99. Like, I'm not paying $100 for a tree. I'm not doing that, okay, guys? I wasn't doing that. So I went to my local uh, nursery called Bob's Christmas Garden Center here in New Jersey. And I found a tree for 60 bucks, guys, 60 bucks. So this is the Mon Morris Morrisony tree, I think that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> uh, it's a semi-dwarf tree. It's a self-pollinating cherry tree. I'm not sure if all cherry trees self-pollinate, but this one's supposed to self-pollinate. So that's what she looks like there, guys. I hope you guys can see that. That's what she looks like. And she comes from Hollybrook Orchards. Hollybrook's supposed to be a very, very good fruit orchard uh, company. And I was excited to see that I finally got me something from them um, that I didn't have to order online. And I was very, very excited. This tree is absolutely gorgeous. She is swelled up and ready to bust out her blooms. And I'm going to take you guys closer into her. Um, she was $59.99 and she is in a seven gallon container here, guys. So I'll take you around to see her in a moment. I was just really excited to get my cherry tree finally. And I finally got a cherry tree, guys. The next tree I want to get is a kumquat. But before I get a kumquat, what I want to do is get a kumquat. Uh, Mealy, I think that's how you pronounce it, a piece of fruit to try because I wanted the persimmons. I thought I wanted the persimmons, right? I fooled you, persimmons. No, guys. Um, no. I don't like that taste. I'm sorry. I ate them when they weren't all the way ripe, and I've tried them when they're all the way ripe. I don't like any which way those are. I'm sorry. You know, we don't always have to like all fruits and vegetables. And I don't like that one, so I won't be getting a percentage. But I do want to try the Miwi Kumquat. If I can get one of the pieces of fruit and try them, and if I like them, I will be growing one of those trees. All the trees out here that I have in my little garden, I know we love to eat already. So and we already eat peaches, plums, pears, and apples. So why not buy them, right? So that's what I have here. And also cherries, all right? And oranges and bananas. <laughs> So let me take you in guys in a little closer to this big beautiful baby here. I'm not gonna prune her like I usually prune my trees when I get them home. Um, because as you guys can see, she is ready to bust out of her no tear. And um, you shouldn't prune your trees when they're, they're coming out of dormancy, all right? Prune them well into the winter late fall do not prune them when they're coming out of dormancy okay because you can send them into shock all right so um this go around you will not be seeing me prune her at the end when she's ready to go back to sleep i will show you guys pruning her all right guys so let's go into this big beauty and see what she looks like all right 
Okay, guys, so this is what she's looking like here. She's a beautiful cherry tree. Love how she's structured. They definitely prune to out really, really nice. I definitely can see some spots that I would like to prune out, but I'm going to wait to prune her out, okay, guys? Because you don't want to, like I said, prune her when she's coming out of the dormancy. That's not good for your trees, okay? And I don't know why she's not focusing. There we go. So I don't want to prune her while she's coming out of the dormancy. So I'll wait until after she's ready to go to sleep. So like this one here, I would definitely prune because it's going downward and then trying to come up. I don't want to have a tree like that. I want all my trees to come up. I think this is how this is supposed to be pruned. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I do see two nice. I'm definitely going to be keeping those. And look how she was grafted. Sorry, it's a little dark down there, but there you go. She is absolutely beautiful, nice and tall. And you guys know I love to trim my trees so they could be even. But like I said, I'm going to prune her during the fall and the winter, right? And definitely like right here. So right now, this is what she's looking like. Um, they did have a protective shield over her. Oh, she, oh, there she was grafted there. That's her beauty. She was grafted right there. So you already know I'm going to be definitely repotting her. Um, yeah. And there's a tag here. And this came from my local Lisa, Lisa guys. There you go. And if you want to order one of these big, beautiful trees, Hollybrook Orchards. That's what you want to call or email or go on their website. She's beautiful. All my other trees are starting to blossom out. So I'm excited for that. As you guys already seen, I did give me another orange tree just in case I killed my orange tree in my bushes. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. But the rest of my trees are looking wonderful. Very happy. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous, guys? Don't you just love looking at these trees when they blossom out? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, one more thing, guys. I almost forgot about my little baby down here. This is the newest blueberry. See that? This is my newest blueberry. Like I said, he's coming out of dormancy, so I will not be able to cut him back. And this is the blueberry high bush superior. Right, and this came from Home Depot also. I almost totally forgot about the blueberry. How can you forget? So you already know I will be repotting her also. Him, her, whoever. <laughs> I will be repotting. So I almost forgot about my blueberry. I'm sorry, guys. See that? What do you say? What it says? Grow your own blueberries. So yeah, I'm excited for all the new additions to my garden. Um, and you guys already know I will be taking you along as things progress in the garden. So, I'm excited. Yeah. That's what it looks like, guys. So, And then I try to put up a little trellis right here so I can grow stuff above the raised bed. So, it's just coming out on this side up here like this. Coming all the way over and then coming all the way down. So, I did something like that. Um, so I could try with something over the raised bed because I do want to put something over the raised bed and in the raised bed. So, yeah. I need to utilize all the type of space that I have. So, yeah. And my little space that I have. So. Um, two new pads, one is already out in the yard. And then I picked up these like little drip irrigation type of things. I don't know if that's seen these. If not, oh my god, it's falling apart. Oh yeah, I don't want to fall off the pad until I use it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. I'm all over the place now. But I'll fix it. So that's what they look like there. Those are the soaker holes. I bought two of those. There's the only one they were left. Two of the soaker holes from the Dollar Tree. It's supposed to look like that, so we'll see if that works out. All right. And then I got another, you know, four type of system. If I can get it out. All right. So 
I need to get another shovel. I want to get like a whole set of these. That's it. All right, guys, don't forget. Let's go together so we can eat together.